guys and welcome back to my channel it has been ages since I brought out a YouTube video but I'm back now and I'm back with something fresh something new and something I hope you guys would really really love so today I'm actually gonna be reviewing Fenty Beauty I've been using Fenty for about a month now and I remember when it first came out last month like literally everybody got it everybody put out a first video like a first review of Fenty Beauty as soon as they got it like on that day and I'm thinking well what happens you know a few weeks later after you use it do you, does your skin react to it and all that stuff so I got a couple of samples of the foundation the pro filter foundation and I you know used that for about a week and then you know I went back into the shops and I was like okay I'm ready to get my own full foundation and I've used it for a couple of weeks and I am here just to tell you what I really think about Fenty Beauty. So to start off the video I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I bought from the line. I got first and foremostly the Pro Filter Foundation in 410. Um, I'm just going to take it out. Yeah it's 410. It says it there. I'm going to I'm going to take it out of the box so you guys can see what it looks like. I have, you know, like I said, I've used this already um, and it actually really suits my skin tone, which is what I really like. Um, people struggle to get foundations that actually suit their skin tone, but I really like this one because it matches my skin perfectly. I did get like a match done when I went into Harvey Nichols to get you know my foundation I, I got you know a full face done so that's how I was able to choose my correct color because there's like this 40 um, shades of foundation which is really amazing I find that you know like I, I don't really know of any other brand that does that many um, shades of foundation so I was really impressed by that I also got the not that one I got the <clears throat> the contour stick um, the matchsticks in espresso so that's the box there I'll just show you what it looks like I wanted to go for a really dark contour because I don't normally contour I do highlight but when I wear makeup normally I don't contour it at all and I just thought you know what why not be different I love the packaging as well it's really really cute so this is the shade of espresso um, I don't know if you can see it, but the top is a little bit lighter because obviously I've used it on my skin already. Um, it's really dark, but I did want something really dark just so that, you know, it could look really cut on my skin and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the contour stick. And then I also got the lip gloss, the Fenty Glow. And um, that's the box there. Can bring it out the box. This There's only like one shade of the lip gloss. Um, and... I like this very much it smells amazing it's what it looks like it's just like a it comes on very nude on the lip but I will obviously show you that when I do my full face and then I got two of the um, highlighters so obviously the one everybody has got and is after is kilowatt um, trophy wife so that's what it looks like a very very gorgeous very gold I have actually only used this probably once or twice because this is like a really glam highlighter Um, I've never really highlighted before but I am trying to up my makeup game and stuff that's why I've gone all out to buy like Fenty Beauty wanting to try some new stuff um, so I've only used um, the Trophy Wife just once, um, simply because I feel like, you know, I don't want to be like too glam, like going to work and stuff. So only on special occasions I've brought it out. And then I've also got the Freestyle Highlighter Duo. Um, so this one, um, this is, I need to get the name right because I don't want to be telling you guys the wrong thing. Oh, what is... Oh, it says it at the back, actually. So, this duo is Mean Money and Hustler Baby. There it is. So, they're a bit nude -y. Oh, gosh, you can see, like, my entire room in the, in the reflection. So, they're a bit nude. So, the one here is Mean Money, and this one is 
hustle hustler baby sorry got that wrong but I did want to try these as like a like a blusher so I've not actually used them as yet I've only really used the foundation and the contour stick but today I'm gonna try a full face of Fenty Beauty and I hope you guys really love it also before I forget the galaxy collection came out last week Friday um, and I had to go in and have a little look you know at what the collection was like and stuff and um, so I actually bought one of the lipsticks um, I got a super moon so it's a nudie kind of shade I love I really really love the packaging of all of the Fenty Beauty stuff I just feel like it's very different and very cute and very like feminine and stuff um, so this is what this is what super moon looks like it's a nudie kind of color but when you do put it on it comes on a bit glittery and um, when I tried it on in the shots I was like oh my days I have to have this one but yeah so watch me try on the whole look this is my full Fenty face and I absolutely love it <clears throat> um, I don't know like I think that this the, the makeup the whole line is just really really beautiful and um, the foundation the pro filter foundation I got in 410 like I said before and it is my exact skin tone and I love that about it I love the fact that it's a lightweight foundation uh, meaning it doesn't actually feel like I have anything on my skin it is so like it's probably the most lightweight foundation I've ever purchased and I just 
I just feel like I I, just, I don't know I just really really like it and um, I feel like definitely I'm gonna be using this foundation for a very 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 long time um, and I just I just love the fact that it's lightweight it's not a heavy coverage foundation which again I like because I don't like to pile on layers and layers of foundation I don't like it to feel too heavy or too much on my face so I love that it's lightweight and um, it covers like my blemishes I don't really have that many blemishes but it covers it you know as much as I would like it to and I absolutely love the foundation if you are looking for something lightweight and something that's not too heavy coverage please do try this out try the sample first in case you might not really like it um yeah and the what did I do next the contour stick is just I it's darker than my skin obviously but I felt like I got a really dark shade because I did want to really pile on the contour I've not really been a contour person before like I said earlier on but I I love the fact that I got a darker shade and you know my skin looks really cut <clears throat> I've got a cold so sorry guys if I keep you know clearing my throat and stuff but yeah, I really love the cut of the contour. I really hope I did a good job of it. And um, because again, I'm not used to like a full glam makeup. I just normally wear my foundation, do a bit of highlighting, put some um, mascara, and then I'm gone. But this time, I had to go all out. Um, I also, I don't, I don't know. I just really, really love, love the contour stick, the foundation, and obviously all the lip, the lip gloss and the um. Super Moon lipstick. I absolutely the Super Moon just did it for me. I didn't actually want to put the lip gloss over it, but I just thought, you know what? Let me add a bit of shine to my look. But I really love the Super Moon lipstick because it's um it's nude and I'm it's well an, it's a nude pink and I absolutely love nude pink lipsticks and I'm definitely going to be keeping this one and probably buying some more. And um, the lip gloss is fine. I think I would always wear a lipstick and then put the lip gloss over it because I don't know, I I'm, I'm not really, really ever been a lip glossy kind of person. Um, and it is kind of very translucent if that makes sense and it's got a bit of glitter in it so I think I would always just use it as a top up when I put some lipstick on but I do I do really like it anyway I think I'll be wearing the super moon, super moon lipstick a lot more let me just make sure that's what it's actually called before I'm out here calling it the wrong thing oh where's the box so many boxes Yes, it's called Super Moon. So the other thing I have put on, obviously, is I used... What did I use? I used Mean Money as my blusher. It's a lot nuder than a blush that I would normally go for. But I thought, obviously, because I've got this whole glam thing going on, I'm going to go for something a little more subtle for my cheeks. And I, I do like that subtlety. Um, I have not tried the other one which is the hustler baby um but i'm gonna try that eventually at some point but i do like how mean money looks on my cheeks and obviously a trophy wife i mean i do feel like a trophy wife i i genuinely feel like a trophy wife having this on it is just so cute like i absolutely love trophy wife i mean i was really scared putting it on because obviously you've got to be careful this thing you literally just need a little bit of trophy wife to highlight your cheeks and i feel like you know I've, I've tried my best today and i hope you guys can really see my whole face i hope you can appreciate what i've done um, I'm definitely going to be using Trophy, Trophy Wife only for like special occasions, you know, and I like that it's so shocking, you know, like it's such a shocking highlighter because I don't need to be using this every day and it's definitely going to last me a really long time. I see this lasting me for about a year and it's only actually supposed to last you nine months. Oops. So, <clears throat> fingers crossed, you know. It does last me that long obviously I'm not gonna use a lot of it and yeah I absolutely love the whole line well done Rihanna honestly I'm gonna be sticking to the foundation definitely I'm gonna be sticking to everything um, 
and if you guys are looking to try out you know the whole set definitely I would recommend it um, I could literally wear the foundation every single day I have not reacted to it after using it for a month I haven't really reacted to the foundation in any way I've not really grown any spots or bumps or blemishes which is really good but obviously these things when you try out new makeup you have to ensure that you're taking care of your own skin you know taking your makeup off every night before you go to bed washing your skin you know before you go to bed putting in put in some night cream or something but yeah I've noticed I've not actually reacted to any of this stuff which is really good um you know after using it for about a month which is really really good and yeah I will definitely continue using Fenty Beauty um I'm not one who's big on eye stuff like eye makeup I hardly ever do like um eyeshadow and things like that but I'm hopefully going to try out the Galaxy Collection. I don't know if I'm going to do a video about it, but the um, part of the Galaxy Galaxy Collection has got an uh, eyeshadow palette. And I don't know, like I'm really apprehensive because I'm not an eye person kind of thing. But we'll see how things go anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, if you really really loved it please do subscribe to my vlog like the video share it with your friends leave a comment below to let me know what you think of Fenty Beauty if you've got it if you haven't got it let me know what you think about the makeup if you haven't got it let me know if you are gonna go out and get it and um, what's stopping you from getting like why haven't you got Fenty Beauty if you haven't got it and <laughs> um, and yeah thank you guys so much so much so much for watching and I will see you guys in my my next video. Bye! Mwah.